Whack Jobs, it's Hyla, and I am back for season two of Hyla Cooking. Wow! Just in time for Halloween, everyone's favorite Satan worshiping holiday. Um, as you can see, I am dressed as a little Indian. This actually was not a Halloween costume, this is my wedding dress. So I hope I don't get bacon grease all over it today. Um, I'm going to show you how to make um, what I like to call jalapeno poppers today. Which is a little idea I came up with at 3 in the morning one night when I was woken up for no apparent reason, which happens a lot. It totally blows. Um, but sometimes I come up with brilliant ideas like this. So this month we're going to be doing some Halloween themed party foods and if you notice like the ingredients here that I have aren't like some kind of brilliant lightning bolt, I'm a fucking genius, um, but uh, the preparation that I'm going to show you is pretty genius if I say so myself. Uh, so we've got bacon and jalapeno peppers and some cream cheese and some pecans but I'm going to get to those later, skater. So, I got a baking sheet here that's covered with parchment paper. Um, you can use foil. Don't use wax paper because it just disintegrates in the oven. Um, and so, I'm sure you've had something like this before. But So, I'm going to cut these in half. And then, with my one and only grapefruit spoon, um, I'm going to get the seeds and the membranes out. And you can leave some seeds if you like it a little hotter, but I'm going to actually put some cock sauce on it later, so you know, I'm already going to make it hotter later. Um, then, I probably should have opened this already because I look like an idiot when I try to open stuff. But um, I'm going to put a little bit of cream cheese inside each of these little babies, which, again, I'm sure you've seen this before. Don't get all on my ass about it. And then, yeah, just do like so. Maybe like a teaspoon or a teaspoon, a couple of teaspoons, depending on how big your peppers are. And I, I purposely picked out kind of smallish peppers for this. And the bacon that I'm using is this is the center cut bacon, um, just because it's a little bit shorter. If you're using giant peppers, you probably want to get like regular kind of bacon, but don't use thick bacon. Um, Anyway, I'm still riding high on my bacon takedown winnings um, from like March or whatever and uh, still getting free bacon, so figured I could use it for this. Um, Alright, so then I'm going to estimate about a third of the bacon and I'm going to like cut it into little fringes and then this side. Oh, and meanwhile, I have my oven preheating at 425. Okay, then I get my little pepper, and I put it like that, and then I'm going to pull the little bacon fringes up and over and, like, interlace them, like so. And then... I'm gonna flip it over and put it on my cookie sheet. Like that. And this is a little bit labor intensive, I will grant you, but all those pimps and hoes and vampires that are at your house at your Halloween party are expecting something fancy and by golly, I think that you should give it to them. Not in a sexual way, but with food. Okay, so now I have six little dealy bobbers and I'm going to put them in the 425 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes and then you will see a special surprise. Not my boobs. Turn the oven off. Alright, these are really, really hot as you can see. It's like lava.
Okay, last one. And if I had some, I would have set these on some paper towels first, but uh, the roll of paper towels that I'd had since like 1999 finally ran out. So tough titties. All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way so I don't burn myself. And now for the fun part. Just kidding, it's all fun. Um, but I'm gonna have these little pecan halves and I'm gonna put them in into the cut end and uh, it's gonna make a little head of my little beetles. And then like that little end looks like pinchers kind of. So that's the end that's gonna stick out. And I tried this once where I put the pecans in first, but by the time the bacon was done, it just got, they got kind of burnt, so say la vie. So now what I'm gonna do is get my bottle of sriracha, or cock sauce, and go in and just make the tiniest little spots for little tiny red demon bug eyes. Whoa, that was a big eye. Last little guy. And then what you can do is get little toothpicks. And I guess you could do this before you bake them, but then the toothpicks might get kind of burnt. And um, you don't really need it to hold it together. And then jab them in like that so that they're easy for people to pick up without getting bacon grease all over their hands. And then you can also, if you want to, to um, put a little bit of bug guts coming out of the hole, like as if they were impaled, like that. Okay, I'm gonna try to eat one now, and hopefully they've cooled off enough to where I'm not gonna burn the you-know-what out of my you-know-what. See, it's a little bug, his little bug legs, little bacon legs. Oh, it's totally fine. Mmm! Crunchy bacon legs. Spicy bug guts. I love it. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hilo Cooking. Visit the website, hilocooking.com, for recipes and other information. And sign up for our newsletter because um, in the next couple of months we're going to be doing some really fun stuff with that. And um, have a great Halloween, and I'm really glad to be back. Yay! Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I have a really special surprise for you. Hold on a second. You all remember Goldie? She's gotten really big, and I dressed her up like a clown for Halloween. Do something funny, Goldie. She's pretty funny. <laughs> I love you. Okay, say bye. Don't jump off. She's suicidal. Say bye. Okay, seriously, bye. <laughs>